Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Is data science industry and individuals actually adding to problems within the environment and sustainability goals for larger and smaller companies? And the answer is yes, unfortunately. Today, there are a lot of initiatives and a lot of hype about AI and data, which many companies are trying to build competitive advantage using AI and data to really make a big differentiation. But during that journey and with the focus of that ultimate goal of creating the competitive advantages, many of the data science professionals are adding to waste, are adding to energy dilution within the industry, which is really harmful in the long run. Today, many of us don't realize because it is available in abundance, but we only have one earth. We don't have any other place to go for now. At least in my generation, in my lifetime, I will not be able to have another alternative where probably I can think about taking a rocket ship and moving to that another destination. Hence, it is important to discuss the specific topic. And in fact, recently I did a talk in one of the conferences where I spoke about how data science professionals, including people like me, are creating more wastage within the industry. And more importantly, they are creating energy deficit in the long run. And what I mean by that, today, with the advent of experimentation, with the advent of learn fast, fail fast thought process, there is many MVPs being created and not think about how do we drive adoption and scale. Today, many organizations are focusing on creating multiple MVPs. And if you have to ask many of the large organizations, they've actually created a graveyard of MVPs and not create a value out of those MVPs. And today, many of those MVPs have been forgotten. And there are many reasons. In fact, there were very beautiful questions which came in from the audience when I was presenting at this conference. And one of the key themes which I saw, which many people had a doubt and many people had a thought that, you know, if you don't do MVPs, how will we prove our worth? How will we prove our business case? How will we prove the value of our partnership? And how can we convince the business team members that there is value in data and analytics? All those questions are right. All those perspectives are right. I'm not disputing that. But there is a way to proceed that. But before we do that, I'll give you a small exercise. Right now, we will do it. And let's see, probably you'll understand what I'm trying to tell you in this larger video. Let's say you are at home right now. And you pick any destination you want to go to. Let's say if you are in India, you want to go to the United States of America. Or if you are in US, you want to Caribbean islands. What are the possible methods you can go to that destination? There are many. What are the routes which you can take? Definitely there are many. What are the different cost elements? You will optimize the most efficient route and the best possible cost outcome. And once you're at that place, you will try to find out what are the best places to see, to drink, to eat, and many more. Am I right? However, as you went and did this exercise with me, nobody questioned why am I asking you to go to a place? Or why did I compel you to think about going to that place? And that is the most fundamental reason about looking at an MVP or thinking about conducting an MVP within an organization. The question of why, why am I doing this? And more importantly, if I'm going to do this, is it going to yield a result or an outcome or a learning which I can store in a learning box or a vault or a treasure box where tomorrow, if the organization is ready to adopt and conduct the same experiment, I can take the leaf from the treasure box from my past MVP and go ahead and share that with the individuals and with the people who are going to be part of that future. That is what is making a big differentiation where mature organizations who are really good at conducting MVPs, they are not letting it go waste. They are not letting it go down the drain. They are in fact taking those learnings, taking those codes, taking those data, taking the entire process of how that entire MVP was conducted, storing them in a learning box, treasure box, or treasure vault, or a locker where they can always open and take a leaf from it as and when it is required for the business or for the organization to create competitive advantage. And that's the difference between successful and unsuccessful organizations in the long run. And if this question has really made you think about why data science is actually creating energy deficiency or wastage within the industry, I would really urge you to seriously think about it. More so, there are many ways you can approach an MVP. But before you do that, you have to really evaluate the data the technology, and more importantly, the culture of the organization, whether they are ready to be leveraged as an outcome which will come from the analytics exercise. If they are not ready from a data, from a technology, from a culture, then you should ideally not be embarking on that MVP exercise. More so, most of the MVPs, you know, there is a famous Gartner study where they only 
analytics adoption is anywhere between actually not sharing any numbers, but let's say it's a single digit percentage. The 90 plus percentage of MVPs are not seeing the day of the light. Why? Because they don't think about the last mile. And when I talk about the last mile, it's not the edge computing. It's actually the machine and not even the machine, which we think is a machine, is a human beings who are going to be using the platform or the data or the technology or the analytical model. And for that individual, he or she has a lot of capabilities which we often ignore, has a lot of innate knowledge about the process, about the practices of the company or of that particular process which the individual is involved in that last mile. We often neglect that and we need to think about how for that individual who's the last mile here, how do we enable or augment the capabilities rather than try to replace them or try to go ahead and push a tech or a data in front of them which will be harmful in the long run for the organization and hence create this entire deficit of adoption of the analytical insights. And that's my larger perspective here that, you know, when you are thinking of deploying analytics and insights within your organization, think about that last mile. Think about who is going to be the user at the end of the day, what it's in it for them and for you. And more importantly, think about them. Think about what are they going to use the data and the technology with and how can you make their life better rather than making their life tougher and something which they will not be comfortable to change. And hence, when you're approaching MVP in the future, please take this as my humble request. Do not create waste. This is the only earth we have and ensure that you do your part. Take care, stay safe and be blessed.